Hello guys and welcome to Aurora Forex. So, um, we just start in our movements towards the Bernard Star system. We don't have the name for the planet, I wish we had a name for the planet. Would be quite nice. Hmm. We'll name the world once we take it. Which I hope we can do. Would be rather nice. We should have put some goddamn cargo on this. I might, oh God, I might have to redo that again. Uh, well, redesign that ship and try and put some cargo on. Hello. Ah. Neutral ground forces contact. Estimated combat strength is 135. Right. So home fleet is over the world. Yeah. Okay. Right. Interesting. Hmm. Wait, what? What? Oh? What is this? C-135 That's the world So we have A1, A2, A3. Are these ships? Contacts. Bernard Star. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. No, they must be on the planet. 135 strength. Okay. Let's take a look at our uh, true transport. We can work out what sort of strength we'll be able to bring to bear. True transport. So we're carrying like what? Um, one, two, three, four, five. Five mobile infantry. What's the strength of our mobile infantry? I don't know. I wish I could have got rid of the construction brigade, but I couldn't really get them off, otherwise I'd be waiting months. Um, so if we go over here then to ground forces. Um, yeah, okay. Training. So we'll try and work out what we have then. So we have five mobile infantry. So mobile infantry over here, their attack is 5 times 7 So their attack is about 35. Their defense obviously being higher, so 5 times 14 is about 70. Um, so we are going to need quite a few more battalions, probably about 10 to 20 battalions. I'll go for about um, 20 battalions, maybe a few more than that. Of course we do have a few um, assault infantry being developed as well. What do we have on Earth? We have um, a few assault battalions on Earth as well. Training more, of course. Right. Rather interesting. So how long actually went by? Hmm. 13 days. Yeah. Very interesting. race details. Can't take a look at the Imperium. How we're we going with our shipping lanes? None of them seem to be moving to Syracuse, as per usual. No. They're all moving colonists back and forth. I... <sighs> so irritating.
I mean, their class is stable as well. That's why I find rather annoying. There's a good bloody world right in orbit, and they're not using it. Oh well. We do need to develop new fighters, actually. Okay, Distosis in system, building that gate. Right, Ross 154. Phoenician. Yeah, two transports just about to uh, trans uh, translate. Right, PDC, Fleet New Carthage. So we'll watch the Bernard Star System. That interests me though. Are those ground forces on another world or in orbit or what? That's what I'm confused about because they're not shown on the actual world. For whatever reason. And that intrigues me. So, um... I don't know. There's no moon. I don't detect any... Vessels. I mean, you can see our detection range is larger than the solar system. Hmm, it's intriguing. It must be on the world. It's gotta be on the world. But it's good that we've actually detected that, so we can actually work out how much we actually need to bring to the world to um, subdue it. And apparently it's quite a bit. Yeah, just hope they stay neutral. Otherwise, it's going to take me a lot longer to take this world than I'd like. Due to the fact that I don't have combat drop capable vessels yet after radically redesigned one. Right, assault infantry have been trained on Earth. The troop transport is over here. That's definitely moved. I think. That's where the world was the turn before. Okay. Very, very odd. Very odd. How long went by? That was 30 days, fantastic. Okay, so we do have some more assault battalions on Earth, that's good. Right, let's take a look at the oozes design and see if we can make it better. Or just faster, really. Okay, so we're gonna... Uh, the Ooze is actually a fairly large ship, so we're gonna copy this design. Let's take a look at the actual design then. So we could get rid of these engines and update the engines. Right, five... Hmm, it's a bloody slow ship, I'll tell you that one. Okay. It doesn't need a sensor. 24. True Transport Bay. Hmm. It's a fairly heavy ship. Yeah, these True Transport Bays are rather heavy. Rather heavy? You wouldn't think they'd be so heavy, but they bloody are. Impressive, really. I suppose it's um, because you're obviously keeping all of them entertained. They've got to have like barracks, food halls and stuff like that really. So we're going to go with some more cargo handling systems. Yeah, that brings that down nicely. Try and shorten that as much as possible. Fuel is fine. Yeah. Uh, there's not much I can really add to this, is there, to bring it up. I could add a little bit more fuel, but I don't like having um, odd fuels. But it moves a little bit, it moves kind of like the same speed, but it's a bit more fuel efficient, which is important. It'll be able to unload these troops incredibly quickly. Well, load, unload, incredibly quickly. Yeah. So rename this to 
the Divas Mark II. Who's MK2? Go over to our shipyard. And then we can start building one of these or two of these, something like that. Probably about two. Retool. Or could you build? No. Retool for the Mark II. Okay. Ah, uh, 2092. So it's not the quickest retooling, but it'll be done. There we go. So we're going to keep on building more assault infantry on Earth. Would be helpful. There we go. Right, how are we doing with that research? It's going okay. Things are just ticking by, really. I'm so used to uh, being in the combat now that I'm not used to the general quietness of running the Empire. Oh, I need to develop those new missiles, don't I? Shit. Yeah, so we'll take some research from some of the current projects and we'll put that towards the new missiles. I'll probably... Yeah, we do need to work on the FC as well. We also need to work on laser FC. With the new lasers once we have them. There's a few projects. You, That's the thing about this game. You always have something to be doing. You always have something to be done. Actually, no, the Ooze Mark II is going to be faster than the current Ooze by about 500 kilometers per second, so that's not bad, is it? Well, about 405 kilometers and a bit. It's not bad, is it? I mean, it's a little bit faster. It unloads in, like, less than a fraction of the time. Which is really handy. Right, you completed orders. Okay. Bernard Star System. Bernard Star A2. Ground units. So we do have ground units on the actual. Occupation required slash actual. Required occupation strength is the total defense strength of all ground units required to maintain order. Maintain. Okay. Well, that's good then. So we have these guys on the world. Lovely. Yeah, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, I must have missed that one then. Okay. Troop transport. Uh, do we want to go to Phoenician? Yeah, we'll go back to Carthage, New Carthage. We'll pick up the mobile infantry from there. Assault infantry are more for attacking, while we just need to defend, really, because we're already in the world. But we'll see what we can get from the actual planet, and if I need to load more, then I will. Right, load ground unit, so... Ah, we don't have any... Assault infantry anyway. I am loading you, aren't I? Wait, what? Why? Ah, yeah. The gate's not built, is it? <laughs> Shit. Okay. I'll give you orders just to look around the system. Primary. Survey. Well, look for survey locations, actually. Uh, to be about three months before the jump gate's ready. So we'll have our troops hang out in the world for about three months before they're reinforced further. Yeah, it's not bad. I do wish I could have brought something instead of the construction brigade. So I apparently took a lot of space. I could have uh, meant to have four mobile infantry battalions. Oh well. I think 14 mobile infantry battalions should be enough to actually take the world, it might be enough. Considering the defense is what we need really to enforce our will upon the planet. I am rather interested about that ground force, so I don't quite understand why it's not on the world itself, it seems rather odd to me. But ah well, we'll find out in the future. But yeah, we should be able to take the planet quite easily. 135 strength isn't that many troops. Oh, well, it could be quite a lot of conventional troops, but that's the thing that conventional troops are. Uh, battalions are the size of like 5,000 men compared to ours of about 500. Right. Retooling has been completed. Oh, wow, that was a lot faster than I uh, actually gave it credit for. 
Okay, so we'll start building a Distos Mark II. Uh, sorry, a... Uh... Oh, right, that's a Distos, isn't it? God damn it. Um, should we build a Distos Mark II? Uh, I suppose we might as well. What is a Distos Mark II actually like? Let's take a look at that design. Distos Mark II. Okay, so it's uh, much larger. Yeah, not very fast. Has a good range. Meh armor. Hmm. Not the best, really. I could probably... I don't know why I built it to that weird size. There must have been a reason when I was doing it. But... Uh, I suppose it's okay. I guess we'll build one. It's better than what the current one is doing at 364. Right, my shipyards. Distos Mar 2, Distos Mar 2, Distos K. Right, let's uh, let's pick a name. Ancient Greece. Uh, call it Argos. K, construct the Argos. That's uh, 1st of June 2092. It's not far away. Right then, research projects. Heavy Assault Battalion, yeah, let's get in there actually, the laser focus size, improved command and control, to tracking speed, yeah, it's got hardly anybody in it actually. So we'll take um, the, la well, labs away from this project, we'll go towards missiles and kinetics, we'll go for the Terrarii first, as it's going to take the longest, yeah, Terrarii first. Then the Hastati queue up that research project. So we have five um, labs to throw around then. So we'll put these other five labs into this project over here. Make that a little bit faster. Have time go by. Yeah. So we still have the four missile cruisers above Earth. Uh, we need to rearm them. With considerable armaments, really. We might take a look at their fire controls and see if we can try and rework the design while they're over Earth and try and um, retrofit them to have a better fire control. So we'll have to take a look at the designs of the Yonder Missile Cruiser variant and see if we can um, do something with that. We're going to keep it within weight. Yeah, should work out fairly easily. Those ground forces, though, they really intrigue me. I just... I don't understand why they're shown away from the world. I don't think they're off planet. I think they are on the world. It's just showing really weirdly. Mm -mm. I don't know. I'll check um, the. Wow, that was a lot of things there. Right, completed research into Terrarii. Good. Right, we just finished building those Punics on Earth. Bloody hell. I might have to just get rid of them, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think I actually will. Oh, shit. Right, Earth. Missiles. Quite a few here. We'll have to get rid of some of these. Right, so we'll go for about... I don't know. I'll go for about 500 Terrarii's. There we go. Right, so let's go back over the world then. Hull, military only. Archer. From population. Yeah, we... God, we're going to get rid of these ferruses. We have a few magnesiums as well that we need to get rid of. And uh, we have a few uh, new marks. I'm going to load about 100 new marks. Well, we'll load 200 new marks. Then... I think we could handle about 50 Punics. Yeah. We'll sort the Punics out first. But at least this way we have our ships armed with anti-ship missiles should anything aggressive come into the Sol system. Okay. 100. 100. 100. There we go. Of course we do need to arm the PDCs as well. But we'll get round to that one. Okay. The Hastati project really does not need that much. 
Only needs like one lab. There we go. Put the rest into the turret tracking. Lovely jubbly. Okay. How long actually went by there? 30 days. Fantastic. How are you getting on there, my lads? 15 days. It's going a lot faster than you'd think, really. What are these on the outside? Are these asteroids? They might be asteroids. They look like they'll be asteroids. Yeah. I'm going to assume that they're asteroids. Okay. Uh, so, in the following month, we'll be able to um, send our troop transport term ooze over to Carthage. They can pick up a few battalions of infantry. Then we may have enough to actually subjugate the world and enforce the will of the UNSC upon it. And then, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what we do from there, really. I suppose we would have to uh, convert the conventional industries to Transnutonian industries. Which could be quite fun. I do have a feeling that the Banal Star system, once conquered, could be rather impressive. Due to the amount of minerals in the system. And the fact that every mineral that we need is already present. Right, this also completed orders. Fantastic. Right, new scientists as well. Eh, it's only 10%, meh. Right, true transport, I would like you to go to New Carthage. New Carthage. Load ground units. There we go. One. Fuck's sake. Am I going to have to do this? Load the 23rd. The 24th. The 25th. 26th. 27th. 28th. 29th. 30th. So we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, unless I can't scroll, I'm going to assume that's 10, because I can't seem to scroll here. I'll assume that's about right. Right, 22%. I'm really bad at keeping count and stuff like that. It's one of those things, it's like you spend so much time thinking about what to actually say that it's really difficult to try and actually think if you get me. <laughs> That's why you should never do maths when you're recording. It's just impossible. Okay. Yeah, our troops should have a jolly old time taking the planet. It should be fairly bloodless, really, despite, well, besides for that army being destroyed. But it should be our first taste of ground combat, and I have no idea how long it will take, how... Involved it may be, but it'll be interested nonetheless. And, um, yeah, we do have home fleet in orbit should anything arise, such as any space born threat, which I honestly doubt there's going to be anything like that at this point. I mean, there's been absolutely nothing sighted for months. We've been in and out of the system for like the last um, three years. So I have to say, there's more or less. Zero chance of them having anything in space. Right. There we go, we've completed research into some projects actually. Ah. Sweet. And we finished build those naval complexes. That's what I like to hear. Lovely. Command and control. That should help out our infantry. Uh, as we could do with um, having some. Well, headquarters on the world, but. Yeah, we would have to go all the way back to Earth to try and get something like that. Okay. Our project will be done a lot sooner now. 21st of December, 29th of December. Laser, fo well, laser focal size. We'll just take three labs away. There we go, 29th of October. Be done fairly quickly. Lovely. Ah, launch a new ship, a colony ship. This time it's going to somewhere other than those fucking planets. Of course not. I'm gonna have to try and build my own colony ships on by something like that. Right. Yeah, so, um, 
we have no contacts, so nothing in space. Okay. I'm actually going to set these to area... Oh, they're already set to area PD, actually, so that's fine. That one isn't. Area defense. Yeah, they're already set to area PD, so that's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Venetian. Yeah. They'll be done soon. Ah, right, nine battalions. Um, I'll load the another one then. Rather interesting. There we go. That's why we'll load the twenty. All oh, right, we've already got the twenty-third. Uh, we'll load the thirty-third, I guess. Then after that, I want you to proceed over there to the Bernard system to Bernard Star A two and unload all ground units. That should be good. We might have enough um, military... Yeah, we might have enough um, army... Well, military on the actual planet to take the planet. Defense is probably what we need more, so yeah, that should be quite good. I mean, we have like, what, six on the planet and it says we, something, we have something of like a defensive capability of like, what was it, 80? So you can imagine another... 10 battalions would really augment that quite a lot. Yeah. Looking forward to it, really. I should really have uh, some HQ over there. We'll see if we get time. It depends, really. As I need to stop recording in about 3 minutes, as I do need to go out today. I've had, um, I've got this week off of work, which is quite nice. Well, I'm not completely off of work, kind of in and kind of out, but it's a fairly quiet week, so I've got some more time this week, which is nice. Right. Huh. Yeah. Okay, so there's only six on... God damn it. So I think these take up two each then. Bloody hell. I thought it was like one to one, but it's not, is it? Damn it. Uh... Ah, well. I right, built some more assault infantry. Could go for... Well, uh, let's get a divisional headquarters as well. Um, another brigade headquarters will be handy. Yeah, we could do a replacement battalions in the future as well to replace our troops or replenish our troops. So let's see. We've just finished removing oxygen from Phoenician 4's atmosphere. So what's the issue? So it should be about done now. We removed it quite a bit more than I thought. <laughs> yeah, I think we actually kind of did. Uh, so let's add some ag um, oxygen back to the atmosphere, then I kind of removed a little bit too much. We'll just go for like a round or something like that and see how much that does. Okay, okay. okay. That was fairly quick. That was fairly quick. Indeed. Right then. Research. So looking at March 2094, it couldn't raid. I mean, do we have anybody who's better in energy weapons? I miss having Freya. 20, no. That's the best we've got then. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 20 is about the best we've got. Ah, oh, doesn't that suck? I mean, we could put 35 labs onto it, but with a zero bonus, it's pretty much worthless. So I suppose we could try and chain up Thomas Harper. And he could work out quite well, but that'll have to be next time. As we are, of course, coming up to the end of the episode. So, I thank you all for watching, and I hope you um, decide to subscribe. So until next time, guys, thank you. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Well, until next time, guys, goodbye for now.